What if you can turn any idea into a fully functional app with just a Figma design link? I'm gonna show you how to do it in Replit. So I've been recently using apps like My Mind and some other bookmarking apps that help you gather your thoughts, gather all those screenshots you have in your downloads folder, because I know I have heaps and I'm, it's always messy. And I'm thinking like maybe a kind of like a bookmarks app. So here's my design in Figma that I just quickly um, created. I'm thinking of like having um, spaces or folders and then having like a grid where you can drag and drop images into, but also sort them. And as you add more images that the images will just pop up uh, in that little like grid or card thing. So this is my ID. I'm gonna go to Replit and I'm gonna go click on import to Replit and I click on the Figma design and I'm just gonna log in and connect my Figma account so then I can connect that um, dashboard that I created. So all you gotta do is click on the frame of your design, right click and you wanna go copy paste as and you wanna copy link to selection and I'm gonna press paste and I'm gonna leave it on private because I don't want people to see what I'm designing right now and I'm gonna click import to Fig from Figma. Once it's done importing, the AI agent inside Replit will start building out the code for it. It will start generating the design, the screens, basically everything you need. And then you start building the complexity to it. So you want to start off slow. And when it comes to the best practices, you want to be really specific with your prompts. You want to provide context, so URLs, screenshots, attachments. You also want to start simple with basic functionality so you can tweak as you go. And you can also show the agent similar apps. And then lastly, you want to break down the bigger tasks into smaller tasks. So don't focus on the big complex things. Try and break it down into smaller bite-sized pieces. And so the AI agent doesn't get overwhelmed and run into like issues. If you're not happy with what the agent is doing, you can see on the side, it gives you all the um, tasks that the agent is currently completing. Up the top, you can actually click on the stop button and it will stop running that in case you maybe mess up a prompt or something. But we can just see there and wait for the overall design. So right now I'm going to test the app that it's currently imported. So I'm going to go, it's got the, um, doesn't have the exact logo, but it's got sort of the placeholder there. It's got some text. I've got this home thing here. We've got spaces. So uh, these aren't clickable yet. Uh, we've also got little that little button or tag there. And then it's added sort of a hover effect with little drop shadow, which is cool. But yeah, it's got only six grid. Now the cool thing about Apple, there's no code needed. I can just use natural language when I'm prompting it. So I'm going to say enhance the overall design. Use um, clean stroke icons um, like streamline icons. Allow me to upload a logo to the top left corner. Placeholder image for the profile. Make the drop shadows and minimal. Add more gray tones to break up the sections. I'm press enter. And then the agent's gonna go ahead and work on those changes. You've also got some other functionality. Oh, if you go to the bottom left, you can see this little icon here. You can actually tell it to do web search. So then it can go look at the web, see what's out there. It's also got dynamic intelligence as well. So if you want it to use the high power model, then it can do that, which is using Opus 4. And then we can also attach a file here when we're prompting something. Now let's see if it's done those changes. It's actually updated those folder icons to a, from a more flat to a more stroke icon, which is really nice and clean. So I referenced the Streamline icons, which is a great uh, icon pack, by the way. You can also now upload a logo. So if I click there, let's use that. Cool. Yeah, so, sweet. So I uploaded the icon there. And the image on the top right, they just probably got an unsplash image or something. And we put a button there. I didn't really thought to put a button. That's fine. And then now if I put my mouse over it, you can see it's got a plus there. Now what if I wanted to say drop an image or something? Now what if I wanted to make some specific enhancements or changes to the design? I'm gonna go to the bottom left in the chat and click visual editor. See the little edit button like a target. And I'm gonna put my mouse on the right side on the design. And now you can see it's starting to select the headers, the divs, the H1s, and it can recognize each uh, individual element. So for example, let's say I'm gonna click on this. I don't want this header in anymore. I can just say remove this header completely. But if I don't want to do that, I can also just edit text color, the background color, as you can see. So you have full control, which I love. It makes it really quick to like do quick enhancements. I can add some margin if I want, as you can see. Or I can just say, remove this header completely. And there we go. We can see it's just gotten rid of that header and it hasn't done any other changes. So we've been really specific. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click this. I'm gonna select the background. I'm gonna say, add a dotted grid background, small, gray dots, make it feel like a um, canvas, infinite canvas, press enter. I can also go ahead while it's doing that and I can edit any other part. I'll go make this, make this search bar full width and more transparent, 
stroke and background increase size of text. And so we can always go back and see um, what it's done and how long it took, the actions, the timeline, the items read, the, light, the codes changed, and the amount, the cost as well. So you can see how much it's costing um, for each little task that you're giving it. Cool, so within like seconds, sometimes it take may take like a minute or two, it's just done those changes. I've got the dotted grid, I've got this, which is looking really good. Now I can select the the div, I can say um, make the grid infinite and allow me to with more with folders. Folders. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this bottom section as well, I don't need that because it's just my own personal app that I'm working on. Now I'm gonna go um, the spaces on the left the spaces folders on the left should connect to each individual um, on the canvas. Um, click the folder, it should open up with um, the canvas having all your images in a grid form. So slowly, slowly, just adding some tweaks in here. I'm currently really liking this design. I just need to fix a few little elements. But now I want to start thinking about the functionality. How is it actually going to work? Um, because I need to be able to drop in images, connect that, make sure the folders open up, and have like an, this infinite canvas. So there's a lot of things that um, we need to just go through and, and tweak. So now we have some functionality. When I click on spaces now, I'm able to see all the screenshot images that I can see in a grid. That's pretty cool. I love that. And I can go back to the canvas, which is gonna be this, and I can actually click and move around the canvas now, which is, as we can see this, but it's not letting me um, move when I click on the bottom. So that's an issue we gotta work through. But if I click on the top, I can go through here, and I can't actually click into the individual ones from, I click on the first one, which is cool. And now I just got to add some more images to these other projects. Uh, so I'm going to say, um, add the ability to upload, drag and drop images into the cards, into the cards on the canvas or the folders. I'm also going to go and edit, uh, add some more padding into these cards. Um, add button where you can create create uh, more folders which then add a folder card on the canvas boom i'm also going to update um, this this search bar be able to search folders um search any folder using text or name. Make this search bar be able to search any folder using text or name. Oh, you can see the folders, it added, made the folders colored. That's that's pretty sweet. That looks, that looks clean. Um, so far, so good. Really happy with the, the results. We can add a new folder as well now, which is cool. Um, you gotta be really specific as well. So now it's like, allow me to click on the text and rename the folder text. So you, you'll be very specific and tell it like all the main things you want to do. For me, I'm, it's easy for me to free flow and go as I go. So let's test the search bar functionality now. So if I type in branding, you can see it filters out the folder here and I can click. Let me see if I can drop images in here. Okay, dragging and dropping that in. Cool, and I can click in there and boom, I've got the images. And then it has a num the numbers here, tells you how many images are in there, which is super cool. So let's just say for now, we're like pretty happy with it. You can actually deploy this app. So on the top right, you can actually click deploy. And you can see, you can tell it how much computing power it needs and adjust the RAM and all that. I'm going to approve that. And we've got the link here. And now let's hit deploy. And basically what it's going to do is it's going to deploy it to a server. It will be a working app and start using. We can also, you know, buy and connect the domain if we want. Um, we've got the settings here. And the cool thing, it's, it's handing all of the back end, which is great. All right, so once it's deployed, it will green light ya, and 
And then now we have a functioning web app that we can go ahead and use. Let's just say we want to drag and drop some images. Click in here. Pretty cool. So it's all working. So I can come in here and use this anytime. And if I want to make some changes, all I got to do is go ahead, talk to the agent again, tweak my um, design. Then up the top, you can just redeploy and it'll update your app and then you're good to go. So you can always go to the, the left. You've got these icons. If you want to add a database, uh, if you want to go back to the deployment, see the logs, add the domain, you can do all that. So back to the preview as well. On the left-hand side, you see this little app and you can even see what it looks like on mobile. Um, so for example, maybe you want to go like Pixel 9 and we didn't make it mobile responsive because you know that would take some time, but you can just tell it, hey, make the app responsive and it will go ahead and do that. If you do want to try it out, just go to replit.com or click the link in the description below. If you have those ideas that are stuck in your mind and you just want to create an app, then do it. Like you don't need to know any code, play around, it's fun. You can see for the hours just like typing and making stuff. So if you do want to see me create a web design or brand from scratch, you can actually check this video here to watch that. Hope you have an awesome day. Take it easy.